Residents of a virtually crime-free county in Florida are expressing outrage over a decision by the Walton County Sheriff's Office to purchase an MRAP armored vehicle normally used for combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, remember the, the 1988 movie, The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey? That was filmed in Walton County. I guess Hollywood producers chose the location because the town is so peaceful, it actually appears to be fake. <laughs> And the local residents say that their town is so crime-free that you can leave your doors unlocked. Needless to say, they're not very happy with the sheriff's decision to purchase a mine-resistant, ambush-protected armored vehicle. They got a really good price on it, by the way. But what's happening is the Department of Defense has been donating armored vehicles to the Department of Homeland Security, who in turn has been selling them to police departments all across the country as domestic law enforcement is becoming increasingly militarized, even in virtually crime-free areas like Walton County, Florida. And I like what one of the county sheriff's officers posted on his Facebook page in response to angry residents. County Sheriff Mike Atkinson wrote, this is not the federal government intruding on your civil liberties. Oh, really, Mike? Come on, man, you're, you're in Walton County, Florida. You're not in Iraq or Afghanistan, although that vehicle does create the, the combat mindset, I guess you can say, so I'm sure you'll get to use it eventually. And don't forget that it was a former Marine Corps colonel, guy's name is Peter Martino, who was stationed in Fallujah, and he actually trained Iraqi soldiers. He warned us last year that the DHS is working with law enforcement to build a domestic army because the federal government is afraid of its own citizens. Now, Martino's the guy who spoke out at a city council meeting in New Hampshire against his town's decision to purchase one of those Bearcat armored vehicles. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. So what we're doing is we're building a military. My best friend, who's a SWAT officer in Nashua, who came to Iraq with me to train the Iraqi police, sent me an email with a picture of him in the media on the streets of Watertown, Mass, wearing the exact same combat gear that we had in Iraq, only it was a different color. Yeah, that guy is a former Marine Corps colonel who found out the city's police chief actually wrote the DHS, and he was requesting the armored vehicle to deal with the threat posed by, and get this, libertarians, sovereign citizens, and Occupy Wall Street protesters. How's that for an intrusion on our civil liberties? You like that? And what about that town in Wisconsin, where last month the police had to calm down residents and reassure them that the military trucks they just got from the U.S. Army won't be used to fire on the locals? I mean, the people out there are freaking out. And those armored vehicles are definitely intimidating. Also last month, it was Indiana Police Sergeant Dan Downing who admitted that the militarization of domestic law enforcement is partly to deal with returning veterans who are now seen as homegrown terrorists. They are a homegrown threat. So the militarization of domestic police departments is in full swing from the small suburban towns to the big populated cities. And they are being told that we are the threat, we're the enemy, and they are armed for war. And did you know that there is now an average of over 100 SWAT team raids every single day in this country? That's right, mostly in residential neighborhoods. And just think, all this time we've been worried about US military marching on the streets of America and the end of posse comitatus, yet look at us now. I mean, here we are, with an occupying force, a militarized police army nationwide, right in our very own backyards. Wow. I tell you what, Alex Jones was right when he said the police state isn't coming, it's already here. Alex Jones here to break down some exciting developments in the area of research concerning supplemental iodine. It's nothing less than phenomenal. 
I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. And I used some of the mainline iodine supplements and they upset my stomach and I had some issues with it. Until I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group, who I was already interviewing as an expert on my radio show, and I began taking the product before he actually rolled it out. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals that are incredibly powerful that no one else has as a source for their iodine from between seven and 12,000 feet, literally drilled out of the ground. You put it on a hot plate and it turns into the pure gas. No one else has 99.99% pure iodine. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. I was over 270 pounds. And with the iodine exercise and better diet, I have lost now more than 50 pounds total and I'm continuing to lose the weight. I have more energy, my libido, all this crap came out of my skin. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, this is trailblazing, and the best part is it helps fund Infowars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at Infowarslife.com.